Hey guys, it's Justine Buick from the NCLEXTutor.com where we help nursing students pass the NCLEX and their nursing exams. I'm a registered nurse and my background is in med surge nursing and of course education. So today I'm going to be talking about five mistakes to avoid when you're doing your NCLEX style practice questions. So I have a few tutors that work for me and we've had many students take the new NCLEX and we're noticing some things that they're doing when they're doing these questions and they're really mistakes that they're doing and so I want to tell you some tips so that you can avoid these problems. So mistake number one is forgetting that you're actually dealing with a patient who has a medical problem. So when you do these case study types of questions and you get the notes and the vital signs and the labs, remember that all of that information is going to help you with the next questions in the case study. So you have the six questions. What happens though is students tend to forget that it was actually the patient in the question that they're trying to refer to. So they won't think of what the patient's problem was or what their history was. They'll start to just answer it based on just like a general patient. And so don't do that. Keep your patient in mind and what is wrong with them as you do your uh, case study question. Now mistake number two, and this can apply to the case studies or the select all that applies. And that is over picking. That means that when you do your question, you say, oh, I don't really know about that answer. Mm, I'll, I'll just pick it. Or I know I have at least, a, I have to have at least three answers. And that's what my teachers always told me. So I'm just going to pick it. I'm not really sure. Don't do that. You want to only pick the answers that you know for sure are correct. And if your content isn't strong enough, uh, maybe you know some strategies and they're really not helping you with your answers. At the end of the day, don't overpick. Now, mistake number three that I notice is students won't go back and look at the notes. So if you have lab data and diagnostic tests or just medical updates and you're trying to do a question in the case study where you have to compare some data, maybe you're evaluating to see if your patient got better or worse or if they understood the teaching or not. And um, they're not going back to look at the notes to compare maybe those vital signs. So I just call it being lazy and I say, don't be lazy, make sure you go back and look because that's what you're going to have to do when you are working on the floor. You're gonna have to go back and look at those notes. Now, mistake number four is not knowing content. So you go in to take the test, you really haven't reviewed content in a while and you're sort of hoping for the best. And as you get these questions, you say, oh man, I don't know what that lab is. I don't know what that disease is. I don't know what that diagnostic test is. I don't know what that med is for. And you feel yourself saying that over and over again as you're taking the test or maybe you're doing your practice questions or your practice tests. Don't be that person. That's a big mistake. You want to make sure that you are reviewing the content. And you know, there's lots of resources out there. You can use many good ones. Uh, we have our own resources that we use at the NCLEX Tutor. So whatever it is, just find something that works for you and is a reputable source. Don't just do it because you uh, saw it on YouTube. I mean, really make sure that it's someone that's legit. And the last mistake number five students do is they forget to use the test taking strategies. So maybe their content isn't strong enough or maybe their content is just, you know, it, it needs some work, but they have a little bit of an idea of what the content is, but they just can't get to the right answer. So they forget to use strategies or maybe they just don't know any strategies and you don't want to be that person. If you don't know the content well enough or maybe you're having a really hard time deciding between answers, that's where strategies come into play. And there's some resources out there that do talk about strategies, but that's what our tutoring really focuses on. Uh, we focus on content and study plans, but we also focus a lot on strategies. 
Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you like this video or if you want to see more, uh, subscribe to my channel or write a comment down below. I will say I am super busy. I try to make more videos and if there's something specific that you'd want me to talk about, uh, just put a comment below. You can check out my website. We have a small team of tutors that we can help with uh, private tutoring. And I also have my NCLEX Nursing Nugget Pages, a book, and that's a book that we use to help you with your content. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.